I'm Data Nerd Josh and I'm a Watson X Technical Specialist at IBM. My goal in this video is to explain what IBM's Watson X platform is in an easy to understand way by using some non-technical examples that I really hope will stick with you. The reason that I wanted to make this video is because I've had several client conversations where it feels like there's a bit of confusion when we start explaining the platform, the AI assistance, and the various parts. If you're at all like me, then you might also find it helpful to have something complex explained using analogies so it can, you know, click in your brain first and then it's really easy to start layering in those more technical parts. So let's start with Watson X. You can probably see my shirt, you've probably seen the commercials, but what is Watson X? If you do some Googling, you'll probably read something kind of like this. IBM Watson X is an AI and data platform that includes three core components and a set of AI assistants designed to help you scale and accelerate the impact of AI with trusted data across your business. As we begin our analogy, we're going to say that Watson X itself is our video game console. I've heard a lot of great analogies for Watson X, such as how it relates to a car or how it's a Happy Meal, but I'm a video gamer, obviously, so that's where my brain goes. All right, so I'm holding a 2017 day one Nintendo Switch in my hand. If you'd rather pretend that I'm holding a PS5 or an Xbox One, that's fine too. So we have our video game console, but this is obviously more than just a screen and some plastic, right? So this is where we're going to get into our three core components. For Watson X, the three core components are Watson X.AI, Watson X.Data, and Watson X.Governance. Let's start by defining the more technical terms, and then we'll get back to our analogy. Watson X.AI is an AI studio where you can train, validate, tune, and deploy foundation and machine learning models with ease. Watson X.Data is a data lake house built to scale analytics and AI workloads for all of your data in an open and governed way, while also providing tons of cost savings for your data warehouse. And Watson X.Governance provides insights into your large language models by giving you the transparency, explainability, and overall paper trail into everything that's going on. All right, so let's get back to our Nintendo Switch analogy and see if we can start making some sense of this. It probably won't be exactly perfect, but I will try my best regardless. On my Nintendo Switch, I have this user interface. I'm able to look at my games, adjust the settings, check out the eShop, view screenshots that I've taken while playing games, and a lot of different things. So I have plenty of options and I'm able to try things out, tweak things, and so on. So this is kind of like Watson X.AI, which is an AI studio where AI engineers or whoever else has the ability to explore various large language models, tweak them, try them out, and see what is going to work best for your business. My Nintendo Switch has plenty of games. I have games that I've purchased and have a physical cartridge. I have games that I purchased digitally through the Nintendo eShop. And I have the ability to play older games such as Nintendo 64 or Super Nintendo through my Nintendo Switch Online membership. All of these games can come from different places, but I'm able to access them all through my Nintendo Switch. This is kind of like Watson X.Data, which allows you to access all of your data through a single point of entry and share a single copy of data across your organization and workloads. Just like my physical Nintendo Switch cartridges and digital games come together for me to access through a single user interface, Watson X.Data brings together data from DB2, Snowflake, SQL Server, MongoDB, and plenty of others, and those can be accessed through query engines such as Presto and Spark, to provide fast, reliable, and efficient processing of big data at scale. So that's kind of like how I can play my games regardless of their origin with my Joy-Con controllers or my Pro Controller. I have two young children and my oldest son has a Nintendo Switch as well. As a parent, it's important that I have the proper parental controls and settings in place just to make sure he doesn't access something that he's not supposed to play or see. I also have the ability to set time constraints so he can only play for a certain amount of time each day and if he tries to put in a new cartridge for a game that he's never played before, I can get an email or a push notification alert. I want him to have a fun time playing games, but as a parent, there's also a certain level of governance that's involved. This is, of course, like Watson XR Governance, which is a game-changing product that allows you to govern both generative AI and machine learning models from any vendor while monitoring for model health, accuracy, drift, bias, and quality. I am obviously not saying that without governance, my son would go off and play something that he's not supposed to play. However, I understand the importance of having this governance in place. Being able to monitor and govern your AI is just as important. 
When I defined Watson X earlier, I mentioned the three core components and a set of AI assistants. So what are those exactly? AI assistants are separate applications that are powered by the Watson X platform. As of the recording of this video, the three AI assistants available are Watson X Assistant, Watson X Orchestrate, and Watson X Code Assistant. I love all three products, but we'll focus on Watson X Assistant for just a second. It's an AI-powered virtual assistant, some might say chatbot, that can be deployed just about anywhere and deliver exceptional customer service experiences, whether that's for internal employees or external customers or somewhere in between. If you were so inclined, could you build your own virtual assistant? You're smart, I'm sure you could, but it's probably going to be a lot easier to set up and configure a product that's already built for whatever your use case is. So back to our analogy, this is kind of like our actual video games, right? I mean, you could create your own Nintendo Switch game, but for most people, that really doesn't make sense. So instead, you go to your preferred online or physical store and buy the game that's powered by your Nintendo Switch. I do want to provide a little bit of clarity here. These AI assistants are standalone applications that are powered by Watson X. So if you want to purchase Watson X Assistant, do you also have to purchase a part of the Watson X platform, such as Watson X Data or Watson X Governance? The answer is no, you do not. Could you have Watson X Assistant and connect it to a large language model via Watson X AI? Absolutely, you could, but it's not something that's required. If you have one of the three core components, such as Watson X AI, do you have to have one or both of the others, such as Watson X Data or Watson X Governance? Nope, you don't, but that doesn't mean that they do not perfectly complement each other and work great together. Could I let my son play as Nintendo Switch without the parental controls or governance? Yes, but as a parent of a young child, it's probably not the greatest idea in the world. We could really go on and on and beat this analogy into the ground at this point and, you know, start to pick it apart until it stops to make sense, but hopefully this really paints a picture of the Watson X platform with its three components instead of AI assistants that are already built to automate key workflows and modernize your applications. I want to thank you for watching this video. I love video games and I love talking about Watson X, so I had a really great time making this one. If you enjoyed it and want to encourage me to continue making more content like this, please comment, subscribe, share, like, and all that other good stuff. If you did not enjoy it, then leave a comment below letting me know what you'd like to see or what I can do better in the future. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.